Hey everyone, I was reminded um, of something that happened a few years ago when I was driving my son to school and I saw this dead possum on the side of the road. And uh, I remember seeing an animal show, rescue show that said, hey, if you ever see a dead possum that's been hit by a car, um, you know, it, it's a marsupial. It, the, the possum may be dead, but it might have babies that are inside that are in the pocket still alive. So. I was going to go back and check the check the pocket and my son says mom I don't want to be a part of this <laughs> and drop me off at school you can come back and do what you got to do so I dropped him off and I I went home and I got the yellow rubber gloves and and a box and I, I drove back to where the dead possum was and um, was wanting to get out but then the car would go by and I was just so embarrassed that you know this crazy lady is going to check the possum pouch. <laughs> And so I finally pulled over and I got my gloves on and I went over to this possum and I, I grabbed it by the tail and I lifted it up and there were two giant furry testicles. <laughs> it wasn't even a female possum. So it's a little bit of a surprise. Um, but I tell that story because um, what do we do when we're surprised or life takes an unexpected turn um, when unexpected things happen, you know, most unexpected things aren't going to be as comical or as disgusting as that. But, um, you know, there's a need in our life to be flexible. And I think about, I love going to the gym and, you know, there's lots of people there that lift weights and get strong, but they don't stretch. Um, and, you know, they're going to be prone to injuries if you do not stretch. And we are meant to be flexible in our faith and flexible in our walk. And, you know, just thinking in terms of, of basketball, you know, you have to be able to pivot. You know, you keep your feet planted, but um, and the one foot stays in the one place. It's grounded in truth, grounded in God, um, but your other foot has to be able to pivot um, to where... Um, the Lord is leading you and so we need to be willing to be flexible and I'm thinking of a couple verses one says um, um, I forgot the verses and that's so funny it says the mind of a man here we go oh my gosh the mind of a man plans his way but the Lord directs his steps and you know we are gonna plan our way but the Lord directs his steps and there's also this another verse that I love and it says since the steps of man or are ordained by the Lord how then can man understand his own way you see because there's a, a mystery in how the Lord leads our life and how he's he's causing us um, to move and to be pivot and to pivot and so we have to be flexible we have to be humble we have to be surrendered um, and willing to be still when he tells us to be still and to go when he tells us to go so um, I hope you all have a great day